Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Swuss. Continuing on with College Football Week 5. Got a good one here. Louisville's on the road in South Bend. Let's do it. Welcome to The Swuss. The Swuss. Swuss. Get the source. All right, like I said, we got Louisville on the road at Notre Dame here. Irish Elaine, six and a half. I even see sevens now. So this line's been on the move. It was six as recent as this morning. So definitely some sharp or indicative of some sharp action coming in on the Notre Dame side. Total sitting at 46, 46 and a half, depending on your sports book. So let's go ahead and get into this one. And this is actually going to be a shorter video because I think the breakdown for this game is relatively simple. And when I say simple, I don't mean, oh, the bet's a lock. I just meant... As far as how I see these two teams, you'll see. Um, so here are the pie charts. According to this data that I don't trust, um, public action slightly leaning towards Notre Dame with the sharp money on Notre Dame. Again, take this data with a grain of salt. So what do we think about this matchup? Uh, well, we'll start with the fact that Louisville beat them last year, upset them. 33-20 was the final score. That game was at home. This one's obviously in South Bend. We'll start with the Louisville offense. Um, pretty balanced. 64th in run frequency, 71st in pass frequency. Running a slower pace, too. 129th in plays per game so far this season. Offensively, the metrics look great. They're 5th in the country in yards per play, 11th in success rate, 8th in PPA. Rushing numbers, 38th in yards per carry. 12th in success rate passing numbers elite third in yards per pass attempt 11th in success rate 15th in effective pass tyler shuck's been essentially perfect 850 yards over 11 yards per pass attempt eight touchdowns no picks eight pluses across the board here qb rating big time throw rate turnover worthy play rate you name it tyler shuck's killing it so why is louisville's offense not being mentioned amongst the best offenses in the country well, they haven't played anybody. Here are their three opponents so far this season. They played Austin P, and that's not even a good Austin P team. They got gutted last year. The coaching staff's gone. They lost a ton of their players. Uh, so that's not even a good Austin P team. Uh, Jacksonville State and Georgia Tech. So according to some advanced metrics, the best defense that Louisville's seen this year is Georgia Tech. That's sitting at 92nd in DFEI. Here are Georgia Tech's defensive numbers on the season. Look at the past defense numbers. 105th in yards per pass attempt allowed. 116th in success rate. 113 in effective pass. This is the best defense on paper that Louisville's seen so far this year. So no shit. Tyler Shuck has elite look looking numbers. I would hope so based on the schedule they play. I would hope Tyler Shuck has elite looking numbers if this is the best defense he's seen so far. We're talking about Notre Dame here in South Bend, and this is an entirely different beast. Notre Dame's defense on the year, 14th in yards per play, 26th in success rate, 9th in PPA. Solid against the run, elite against the pass so far this year. 13th in yards per pass attempt, 3rd in success rate, 4th in effective pass. This defense is rated 5th in DFEI in the country. Obviously, we know Notre Dame, one of the best defenses in the country. You don't need this graphic to show you that. We already know that. Um, to me, the most interesting matchup is right here because the Louisville offensive line has been excellent in pass protection so far this year. Look at the right side of this graphic. 21st, 23rd, 21st, 19th. They've given Tyler Shuck plenty of time to throw in the pocket. And even when he has been pressured, the rare times he has been pressured, he's handled it really well. Look at these splits here. I mean, elite looking numbers when given a clean pocket, elite looking numbers when pressured. But here's the thing. Tyler Shuck really hasn't been flustered at all this season. He hasn't taken a snap against a single decent defense defense so far this year. I mean, the Notre Dame pass rush is coming. 37th in pass rush grade, 24th in sack rate. I mean, this is an entirely different animal. I'm not saying Tyler Shuck's going to be bad in the game. I'm just saying we don't have the evidence to suggest he's capable of going on the road to South Bend and throwing the ball on Notre Dame. And as far as the Louisville run game goes, I'm really not that sure. The first two games of the year was looking elite. 8.5 yards per carry, 263 yards rushing a game. That was against Jacksonville State and Austin P. Against Georgia Tech, just 57 yards rushing on 2.1 yards per carry. They were struggling to establish the run against Georgia Tech's defensive front. How are they going to run the ball in South Bend? Notre Dame's run defense, obviously elite. I mean, Northern Illinois, 4.2 yards per carry. That was kind of a flat spot. But we know you don't just go into South Bend and run the ball on Notre Dame. So overall, on this side of the ball... I don't know how I could put any faith in Louisville's offense going on the road into South Bend and moving the ball on this Notre Dame defense. I think it's a really tough spot. I think Tyler Shuck's in for a rude awakening. I think it's going to be a tough go for the Louisville offense in this one. But now we flip it over to the other side and we talk about the Notre Dame offense. And if you're betting Louisville, this is where you find your value here. Um, Notre Dame, we know they can run the ball. Riley Leonard, Reggie Love, we know they can run the ball. Fifth in yards per carry, third in effective rush, right? We know Notre Dame can run the ball. The passing game or lack of passing game 
is pretty noticeable here. 104th in yards per pass attempt, 87th in success rate, 87th in effective pass. What does Notre Dame plan on doing offensively in this game? You're going to try to run the ball on Louisville? That's a serious defensive front there. 32nd in yards per carry, 4th in run defense success rate, 6th in effective rush. This was an elite run defense last year, and they brought back a ton of production from last year's team. If there's one area of Louisville's football team that I will vouch for, it's their defensive front. It's very good. And if Marcus Freeman is coming into this game with a run-heavy game plan, it might be a struggle here. I mean, look what Louisville's defense did to Georgia Tech. Now, earlier I said Louisville's offense hasn't been tested, which is true because Georgia Tech's defense isn't any good. But their rushing game is good. They can run the shit out of the ball. It's probably a top 25 rushing attack. Look what Louisville's defense did to them. 98 yards on the ground just 2.6 yards per carry 25 percent success rate is terrible not to mention this was an elite road run defense last year last year in their away games 113.8 rushing yards per game just 3.67 yards per carry 30.6 percent success rate this is an elite run defense man and yeah notre dame has a great offensive line there's a lot of people because of the injuries they're missing i think three pieces out for the season they're like ah oh, notre dame's offensive line can't be trusted because of the injuries they're still elite this is still a great offensive line here are the numbers here i mean they're great at creating space in the run game look at the metrics from louisville's defensive front this year they're top 10 in every single one nobody is generating push on the cards defensive front right now so i really don't know what notre dame plans on doing offensively if you're thinking hey maybe riley leonard will use his legs in this one this is what he did against louisville last year 13 rushing yards it was tied for his lowest rushing total of the entire season against louisville that was last year with duke what about throwing the ball maybe riley leonard comes out slinging it well last year against louisville 9 of 23 121 passing yards no touchdowns a pick and a 74.6 passer rating so he certainly couldn't throw the ball in louisville last year and look at his numbers this year 587 yards 5.6 yards per attempt one touchdown two picks and surprisingly it actually gets worse than that because louisville runs a ton of zone coverage they're eighth in the country in zone coverage frequency look how bad notre dame's passing numbers have been against zone coverage this year one of the worst offenses in I almost said in the nfl in the fbs when it comes to throwing the ball against zone coverage so as much as i think louisville's offense is in for a serious problem here with this notre dame defense I don't really like the matchup for Notre Dame's offense at all. I don't know how they're going to run the ball in this Louisville defensive front. So in conclusion, we've got two elite defenses with two offenses that I don't trust that are going to try to run the ball. Say less. Give me the under. I already bet it. I got it at 46 and a half on the under here. As far as picking a side, now that there are sevens flashing, I would lean Louisville. I'm expecting a low scoring game. So obviously I'd, I'd want to be holding seven points, but I really am worried about the Louisville offense here. So I'm comfortable on my under. 46 and a half. Let's do it. If you want to see all the bets I currently have open, head over to kylecrims.com and click on open bets. You'll see all mine as well as everyone on the staff here. Also, if you sign up for Sauce Network Plus, it comes with access to the Discord and you can participate in the weekly betting league. $150 cash and this trophy or one of these trophies go to the winner every single week. So head over to the website and sign up if you're interested. Live shows Saturday college football, 10 a.m. Eastern time up to kickoff. We'll be live for two straight hours. Sunday NFL show, 11 a.m. up to kickoff. If you're able to make it, we'd love to see you in the comments. Let's have ourselves a good one here. Coming off a really nice weekend. Let's keep that rolling. Remember to bet responsibly, and I'll talk to you in the Discord.